What's going on everyone, Easy Mouthboards here, bringing you guys a little guide video for how to get Frigidbacks in Pokemon Scarlet and Violet. I'll be showing you the exact location, so that way you guys can get this pseudo-legendary and uh, have that for your decks, or just have it in general if you were really looking for it to use on your team. This thing has been a pain in the to find, and so I'm sure some of you might be struggling with it as well. So let's go ahead and get into it. So first, you want to open your map here. You're going to go up to the Snowy Mountains over here in Glaciado, Glaciado Mountains. And you want to fly to... I think it's Glaciato Gym. Glaciato Mountain. This Pokemon Center here. So we're gonna go ahead and fly over there. Know how to get there. Basically, it is going to be north of the Medali. What is that? Medali City, basically, I guess. Medali City, I'm just going to call it that. And the normal type gym. And so you're just going to go north into the mountains here. It is right past uh, Glossadios or Glossiano's Grasp. You have that flight path. It's real easy to trek through. Um, you should be able to get up here without having the... Uh, the climbing ability unlocked, or a Coridon, or Maridon. And basically, from here, we are just going to head west. For uh, some of this climbing, it can also be really helpful if you have the... Uh... Oh, that's probably it right there. It can also be really helpful if you have the ability to do the long jump where you hold down the jump button. Otherwise, it, it might be kind of rough climbing up some of these, because Pokemon doesn't always want to uh, latch on to things. For reference, if you are needing to know where this cave is at, here I am on the map. And here is the Pokemon Center we, where we were just at. So it's just right here, along this green pathway here. Here is Frigibax. And as you can see, he's level 36, so not very high level. So he can be utilized early on if you want. I'm going to go ahead and throw a quick ball. Okay, the quick ball did not work. So I'm also going to try a dust ball. Since he's a pseudo legendary and at full HP, it won't be that easy to catch him most of the time. But as you can see, it just took me two balls pretty much. And that was with having quick ball and uh, dust ball. Quick ball obviously didn't work, but dust ball seemed to do the trick, so. If you are needing to evolve him, all you need to do... It looks like we have something stuck in the wall here. What are you? Is, is that a snow run? It is snow run. Okay, snow run. No. But if you are needing to evolve him, all you need to do is just level him up. Um, into the 40s, I believe it's like... 45, probably? Or maybe less. Maybe it's like 35. Uh, let me get him out of the box, and then you can just double check this right now. We'll use one for this experience. Okay, well, he was level 36 when I caught him. One rare candy, and he's already evolving into his middle stage. And there we have Arctabax. And for this, I'm going to use a few large candies, about five. Okay, we use 
Actually, we'll use a rare candy now. Oh wait, he needs to be in the 50s, I believe. Like, 54. Oh, I'll use... I'll use 10. There's 55. Ice Beam, no. I'm not gonna learn any of these, because I can just learn them later. You don't need to learn a specific move, you don't need to do any specific type of gimmick. All you have to do is level him up and you will get all the evolutions. And you will soon have your pseudo legendary Bexcalibur. And that's going to complete the decks for him. He's going to try to learn Glaive Rush, which I will learn. And that over takedown. And yay, Glaive Rush was learned successfully. Level 55. You probably didn't need level 55. It was it was probably more like 54. Um, that's what I've been reading in some other guides. Anyways, guys, if you if you have enjoyed this guide and you found it useful, make sure to leave a like on the video, subscribe if you haven't already, and I will catch y'all on the next one. Later.